the Lab Series is a program I started three years ago. The idea is that we find uh, either a script we love or a writer that we're very interested in, and we invite the writer to come and spend some time in the studio um, developing the play. Um, and then we try to assemble as much of an A-team as we can to give that play life. Lucas is a writer who we've been paying attention to for a few years at studio. Uh, we've read uh, a number of plays. Also, here was a writer we were interested in. Uh, we uh, were sent this new play of his, Red Speedo. Um, it's striking in its uh, economy, in its style, uh, and in its theme, frankly. It's a play that's ostensibly about uh, men's competitive swimming and performance enhancing drugs, uh, but ultimately it's a play about um, questions of what we owe each other, um, what constitutes fairness, what happens when you start keeping score of what's fair and what's not. It's about pro swimming and doping, but um, of, of course those subjects, those sort of at this moment highly topical subjects are really um, just kind of an arena and a vehicle for a conversation about um, what we consider fair and um, if you perceived your circumstances as unfair, uh, what you might be willing to do to make things fair. Um, and, and I also think um, the arena of sports uh, is sort of operating as a kind of spectacular metaphor uh, for uh, our perception of what constitutes fair in sort of our lives at large and the kind of myth uh, of equal opportunity in this country. I got to know Lila well last year when she directed a production of The Aliens here by Annie Baker um, and directed it with real intelligence and uh, insight into what the playwright was after. Um, as we were in conversation with Lucas, I learned that the two of them know each other well, admire one another, have never had a chance to work together as playwright and director, um, so, and, and, and have been eager to do so. So it felt like a natural pairing to me. A mutual friend of ours uh, and mutual colleague um, had introduced me to Lucas's work uh, and I sort of was a, a big fan from the earliest stuff that I read and we sort of started talking and began a kind of ongoing conversation about one another's work and how we might work together. Um, and I think um, what drew me to this play, um, which is a part of I think what's drawn me to, to most of Lucas's work, um, is that I think um, you read this play and you are very quickly aware of the kind of extraordinary degree of control uh, that this writer is in, uh, in terms of uh, language and um, there is a, uh, a kind of propulsive linguistic velocity to this work that is sort of undeniable and I think kind of uh, uh, viscerally thrilling. So um, these days I mostly uh, work on new, new plays um, and um, for me there is a particularly thrilling and invigorating dimension to the fact that as you are working on it the thing is changing um, and I think, though I think this is true of all um, collaborative work in the theater, there is a kind of heightened elasticity and openness and agility that is required of everyone involved in the room and the capacity to invest quickly without attaching preciously, which for me is just a particularly thrilling model for creating work. When you're in the room for a, a, a world premiere uh, as a playwright, when you're, when you're in rehearsal, it really does feel like just an extension of the writing process. So for me, that's what a, a premiere is about, is really just completing work on the play, but just doing it very, very quickly. And so, uh, as a result, um, there's room to go with a lot more uh, gut instincts. Uh, you discover more jokes in the rehearsal room because you're thinking on the fly and somebody does something odd in the corner and you think, oh, well, there's something kind of interesting about that. You get, you get the chance to see mistakes and screw-ups, which end up being really helpful because some of the better ideas come out of mistakes and screw-ups. Well, there's something particularly exciting to me about having a writer around as his or her play is being produced. Um, and letting them be uh, an active participant in the development of, uh, of their work and ultimately the work we do at Studio. So one of the things I've been trying to do over the past few years uh, since I've been here at Studio is really uh, 
trying to figure out a whole number of ways to open the doors of this place to playwrights and to invite them in and let them play in the sandbox.